Hello my friends, it's Gabriel with The Last Huntsman Channel here. Uh, today I got a special treat as far as knives go. Uh, Jacob with the uh, Prepper's Bunker Outdoor treated me to a uh, sneak peek at a prototype that he's working on with his uh, Exodus Knife and Tool line. And that is the Air Force Survival Knife. I guess round two, right? Yeah, so let's check out this knife. All right, so this is the Exodus Knife and Tool prototype Air Force survival knife, and it's based roughly off of the Ontario Air Force survival knife. Uh, I've had this little guy for quite a while. This is my personal one. I've just got it um, as a gift, I think. I never even really used it, but... I wasn't real impressed with it to begin with and if you want to see how this thing performs just look up there's a hundred thousand videos I'm sure on this thing but let's just sum it up this knife kind of sucks really honestly it has just like this wedge like edge geometry the edge geometry is terrible um, a lot of the ergonomics is terrible um, so overall I wouldn't suggest one of these however it's kind of a neat concept and so I think where Jacob with the Prepper's Bunker Outdoors and Exodus Knife and Tool was went was let's m m take something that's a neat concept and make it better and that's what we have with the uh, Exodus Knife and Tool Air Force Survival Knife. I'm going to split this decent sized chunk of cedar here. Now I'm going to say already, I'm not going to do a fire today, however I will insert some video that I have made a fire with this before, and it works pretty good, it does have a 90 degree spine, but it's almost 100 damn degrees out here, so there's no way in hell I'm making a fire today, it do not need one. already done some batoning I'll uh, insert some of that video as well Okay, so let's go over some of the uh, uh, specs of this. This is O1 tool steel, which is kind of different than what uh, Exodus Knife and Tools used before. Uh, I know he's uh, worked with uh, 1084, 85 carbon steel, and I know he's also with White River Knives looking at S35VN right now on the uh, Adventure Craft. That's a little spoiler, by the way. Anyways, uh, but I'm actually eager to see th things going in O1 tool steel route. I'm a big fan of O1 tool steel. This one, however, is uh, heat treated to a very hard uh, Rockwell. I cannot remember offhand. I'll try to post it uh, below. But uh, I know it's certainly a lot harder than some of your other O1 tool steels. Now, with it... He sent me this Kydex sheath, which this is actually about the best Kydex I've seen thus far out of Exodus Knife and Tool. Um, I, I like this Kydex sheath, really. He, good, solid, tight. I like just the uh, um, belt loops that he has for it, but you could also attach whatever the hell you want to this. And he also sent the original Ontario leather sheath, which is pretty neat because... I mean, it'll fit and work 
right in that if that's more of your style. Alright, so another test I'm going to do, and this is going to be kind of some more of the like bushcrafty type of stuff, but I'm going to make some notches, just kind of see what I can do with it. First of all, I'm going to start off with a square notch, see if I can pop it out of there. Got us a square notch. Let's try just a regular like tent stake type of notch here. When I dug in quite a bit. I don't know whole pieces. Not working for me too great. It does have a 90 degree spine, but it's not like, it's not like razor sharp 90 degree spine like I've seen on some. So it's not too terribly uncomfortable to use with just your bare hand. I would say, ideally, I like using gloves, but I forgot my gloves. But yeah, it makes notches pretty well. I'm going to just do some basic slicing, so I'm just going to kind of get a feel for it in hand. Now I could already tell, and I've already discussed this with Jacob, that there is a few issues ergonomically with the handles. And it's mainly these like sharp little corners and these sharp edges here on the handles. So, um, and granted this is just a prototype. so. Um, overall, I think it looks cool. I really like the concept, but I'm just kind of giving some, uh, you know, constructive criticism here. And that could have been partly due to the maker. But, uh, yeah, it does kind of bite into your hand a little bit, and I can feel it after a while. Which, sometimes a little bit of bite ain't bad, especially for, like, a potential, uh, combat knife. Because you, it will really, he lock into your hands in some ways but also it'll some of your like so for example some of your super soft like rounded handled knives they want to turn in your hands if you're like you know attacking with it and so that's not good and so sometimes having a little bit of of a direction to your handles is uh good for a combat knife but this one is a little too squared but it does slice really well. I really like the concept and I really like the size of this knife though. Uh, size wise, obviously it's like the Ontario, but I also really think that it's similar to the uh, LT Wright Forest Trail. 
All right, so I'm bringing you guys back to the bush craft table here. But another task I'm going to try with this is I'm going to just do some chopping. And so uh, I know this ain't a chopping knife, but it's supposed to be a survival knife. So it should be able to do a little bit of everything type of thing. But we're just going to try it out here. I am having to reset my hand a little bit. This is a very smooth out micarta. I actually think something with a little bit more texture would fit this knife a little better. But it does, I mean for its size, it does chop okay, really. I mean, it's not meant to do that. I'm just kind of testing it beyond what it's meant to do. All right, so I was talking about the handle uh, a few times already, and I was kind of thinking what could make this handle better. And so uh, I'm going to give my thoughts to uh, Jacob here as far as, as the uh, handle. Obviously, round these edges and take these sharp little corners off and such. I think that will definitely help with this design. But something else is maybe use a more uh, traction micarta, like a heavy, like a not so polished canvas micarta. But also one more thing, if you look at the original Air Force survival knife, it has these grooves going through here. And I know that may seem kind of weird thinking about that on micarta, but... I've seen um, a couple tops knives that actually do grooves in the micarta like that. And granted, tops knives generally has like the worst ergonomics that I've ever seen out of a knife. However, these ones, uh, that's not like a real bad idea in my opinion. And I think it would add not only to the uh, function of the handle and give it a lot more traction and not want to slide out of your hand while you're doing like ch light chopping and such, but it also would um, add to just the overall aesthetics of the Air Force survival knife. All right, so one of the tasks I'm gonna try is I'm gonna just try some straight up stabbing and see how well that Bowie clip point sticks in. My guess, it's going to do pretty good. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Oh. I will say that uh, guard there is pretty good. I, I like that. It, it gives me a lot of security that my hand, my bare hand, by the way, is not going to slip up that blade. But that stabs pretty good it don't want to come out I mean I'm getting you know up to about three-fourths of the way up the entire clip so it, it's uh, stabbing pretty well let's uh try the attitude readjusting pommel and then we'll just see how well it stays in hand as I use it for more of like combative techniques oh yeah I knew this was gonna do really good that that pommel Stomps the sh shit. Out Let's of do it. one more thing. Let's uh see how well it stays in hand and see if it wants to rotate or do anything like that. If I'm using it for like a fighting knife. does stay pretty solid so um, that being said I will say like anytime you have a knife that has more like oval more so than like just perfectly round 
uh, it's going to keep your edge alignment and your direction pretty good. Problem with some of your, or, you know, bush crafting knives is they have uh, just perfectly nice round, smooth handles, and they want to like try to do this while you're, you know, striking things. So the handle overall concept, I like it. However, I think there's just a few things that can be uh, modified on it and and kind of smoothed out and make it that much better so overall though I would say I think this would be a uh, decent soldier blade all right so something else I was wanting to point out that I just noticed is I've had this knife for a few months now almost it seems like and I've been testing on it I've been thrashing on it and I will say this O1 tool steels a little harder than most other O1 tool steels but I will also say Damn, this knife holds an edge like a mofo. I've been using it. I've been thrashing it around out here today. But I have not sharpened this knife since I got it. And I even taken it on a kayaking trip with me and used it. But this thing is still... Shaving hair off of my arm so I mean whatever kind of O1 tool steel this guy uh, uh, used to make this is pretty damn good stuff all right so my overall thoughts with the uh, Exodus knife and tool prototype uh, Air Force survival knife I like it a lot I'm actually eager to see what the final production of this would be uh, I hope they make couple little cosmetic changes and and maybe even heed my thoughts on the uh, you know grooves in the handle to kind of give it a little more texture uh, one more thing I thought of with the handle is maybe flare this out just a little more because I was not you know uh, when I was chopping with it is wanting to leave my hand so I was having to reset my hand um, now I do think the grooves would help with that but if that was flared out a little more that might even like you know oh, alleviate the need for even doing any more texture to this so just my thoughts overall I think the blade performs great I'm actually very surprised how well this thing holds an edge I've uh, used it around my uh, fire pit I've used it out on a kayaking trip I've used it around the little bush shelter here so overall I'm impressed with this knife uh, I think I think it's gonna be a cool knife once it hits the uh, uh, market and also um, I think it'd be a good overall just like camp and uh, survival soldier knife um, so with all that being said be prepared both physically and spiritually God bless and carry on